everyone, welcome back to another episode of WebTech Tutorial. In today's tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to create an eTrade account. eTrade Financial Corporation is a subsidiary of Morgan Stanley that offers an electronic trading platform to trade financial assets, including common stocks, preferred stocks, futures contracts, exchange traded funds, options, mutual funds and fixed income investments. In order to create an eTrade account, go to your web browser on a device and then type in us.etrade.com and search. Soon after you do that, you'll be taken to its home page. Now in order to open an account, go and tap on open an account button at the upper right. Now on the next page, choose your account type from the options by tapping on it and tap on continue. In order to open an account on eTrade, you'll need a social security number and you must be a US resident with a valid US address. Now, select account ownership whether it is an individual account or a joint account and after you make your selection, go to the next option and tap on the type of your account. You can choose between premium savings accounts, max rate check-in and eTrade check-in. Tap on your selection, let me go for a premium saving account for now and tap on continue. On the next page, provide your personal information. If you are an existing eTrade customer, then answer your question with a yes, if not, select no. If you are, you can easily go and enter your credentials and then tap on continue in order to log into your account. If no, select no and under prefix, select your choice and enter your first name in the first text field. If you have a middle name, go ahead and enter it right here. If not, you can simply enter your last name. After you're done, go ahead and tap on your choice under suffix and on the next field, type in a phone number. Now. Enter your email address in the next text field. Go ahead and enter your address. And then after you are done, go ahead and enter the zip code and enter your city. Now, from the drop down, select your state. And then after you are done, if your mailing address is different from your residential address, tap on the box. And go ahead and type in your mailing address in the text fields that appear. If not, go and tap on the continue button and you'll be able to create an eTrade account. That is how it is done. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was in any way, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below in the comment box if you have a question or a feedback for us. I'll soon be back with more tutorial episodes. Goodbye till then.